about extinguishing a very large fire that makes you realize just how humble you are in the grand scheme of things, how small you really are. Sixty-five minutes after the firefight began, Dwight pronounced the dragon dead. The final chapter closes with an unprecedented victory. I mean, this was the Super Bowl of fires. You have one winner, Super Bowl. Yeah, they play till one wins. That's what we have. I just thank God that I was there. That, that I got to participate in that Super Bowl because uh, it would have been hard to get through the rest of life and not have been there. You're sitting by the phone, you're waiting for that call that says, the fire's out, we're ready to go home. A homecoming follows a fire. Nestled among oak trees on 100 acres is the Williams family compound where Dwight's wife, Ray Marie, his mother, Colleen, his children, and grandchildren live. A big job and a big responsibility uh, that lies on his shoulders to ensure that we all come home to our families because he is the caretaker of us. You know, the families that welcome us home when we come home and they're not mad because we left and they understand why we, why we went in the first place. I mean, when we come home from a big job, one of those girls has got something cooking for us to make us feel like we're, we're home. But we can see everybody at one time, and I think that's what's important. Everybody can look in each other's eyes and know that we're all home. If we're on a job of any size, it's my understanding that my mother or my wife will put all the boys on there and say a prayer for them. It's a nice thing to have happen. You can get them home and get them some rest because you never know when the next fire is going to happen. You never know. Between fires, the Williams crew remained dedicated training and testing the techniques and equipment key to the success of firefighters in this ever-changing field. We spend a lot of money on R&D. The reason we do it is we're dealing with the protection of life and property. Tell me something that's more important. You see a person burn up, it's not a pretty sight. It's a reminder of what fire will do to you. The thing that kind of uh, persuaded me that I wanted to be a part of Dwight's team was one, his success without injury or incident. The second thing is we want to try to contribute and give back to the industry and uh, I want to be a part of that. As for the leader in this dangerous job, he continues his search for better methods, more powerful weapons. I hope that, that I'm around when we get a big crew tank for the safety of the boys as well as the fact that I want to, I've got some tricks on, on crude in depth, I want to see if it works. The legacy of Dwight Williams will go on past his time here because of his contributions that he has made in the science of firefighting and in the art of firefighting. I don't want to give the impression that we've made it safe we have made it more acceptable to do battle with the fire. Flammable liquid firefighting is a dangerous job. You may go to work one day and you may not come home. We accept those risks. I like it on edge. It's, it's sweet on edge. Uh, I think if I had a job where I was doing things and it didn't allow me to be on the edge, I'd be very uh, unhappy. You slay the dragon, you conquer your foe, you turn the lights out. And that's what we do. Perfect.